Good morning, Henry. Hello, Abby. How will get here as soon as you can? I guess we'd better go on without him then. spirit of each of us is a candle of the Lord. Yet many have built around this candle a screen of hate and fear and especially of ignorance. A screen that hides the flame not only from our fellows but ourselves. In the light of God and of his Son who himself was the light of the world, all men are brothers, one unto another. But how dim is this light in our time? We know that many small candles must be gathered together to make a great light. I wonder how many of you saw an article in last Tuesday's papers an article which announced that such a candle had recently begun to shine in Washington. It said that commissions as officers in the United States Navy will henceforth be extended to all qualified citizens regardless of race or of color. I do not know whether this candle will burn long or bright but I do know that we in Keenum have an opportunity today to cause another such candle to shine into the shadows. Should this come to pass, it would be good in the sight of God and of men. For we are all God's children and bear his heavenly image and one man is the image of all men. I am my brother's keeper. Let us pray. Unto God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost be ascribed all might, majesty, dominion, and power henceforth and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Instead of hymn 217, we will sing hymn number 519. Once to every man and nation, comes the moment to decide. Five, one, nine. A number which is well known to all of you because, because it belongs to our doctor.
visit Keenum today, you would learn that this has been a true story, a drama of real life whose characters are real people. The old bracket place is still occupied by the Carters, and Scott Carter is still our doctor.